Persona Studio One is a professional digital audio workstation for music and MIDI, but also has plenty of great features for home musicians. Studio One has a free version, known as the Prime version, that has some limitations and is available for anyone to download without purchase. Before starting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notifications whenever we release new videos on home recording. Let's first talk about the features and limitations of Studio One Prime. As a free version, Studio One Prime has lots of ability to record audio, edit MIDI, and create music, but there are some features that are not available compared to the paid versions. Studio One Prime's biggest limitation includes its lack of support for external plugins, preventing you from adding your own instruments or VST plugins to expand the program. Additionally, it's really limited for multi-track recording, as Studio One Prime only allows you to use one of your audio interface's stereo inputs at a time, so you can't record more than two simultaneous tracks. Finally, there's less effects available for processing and mixing, but it still does have the basic channel strip with compression, expansion, and equalization, as well as some other effects like delays, chorus, and reverb. Personas used to offer a download for Studio One Prime on their website to easily get the free version of the software, but this is no longer available or easily advertised. Instead, we'll start up by making an account on the Personas website with our details and downloading the demo version of Studio One 6. Personas provides a 30-day demo of their full digital audio workstation, and after this time, the product will fail to activate. If we launch Studio One after the demo version has expired, we'll get a window telling us the demo period has ended. We can close that window to continue. From there, another window will open, giving us options to choose our version of Studio One and activate it. We can activate with Persona Sphere, which is a subscription service for Persona Studio One, which costs $14.95 per month. You can also choose to activate Studio One if you purchase the full version. There's an option for a full free version for a time-limited demo, but this expires after 30 days. Last, we can run Studio One Prime, which is just the free version with limited features. Just select this and press Activate. Once done, we'll get a message that says Studio One has been activated on this computer. With that done, Studio One Prime will launch, and you can start creating new projects to record music. As previously discussed, there's some limitations, and we can see that here that we can only get two of our audio inputs at once, but otherwise, it's a good option to get started with Studio One. Thanks for checking out this video on installing Persona Studio One 6 Prime. If this video helped you out, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell icon to get notifications whenever a new video is released. You can also check the video description for links to social media accounts to see all our new content.